When you first see the Bayway refinery, it takes your breath away a little bit. 20 minutes outside New York, on the Jersey side of the Hudson River, it's a rumbling, rattling, steaming city of pipes, cylinders and metal chambers, the northernmost refinery on the East Coast. Crude arrives by ship from the North Sea, Canada, West Africa, and by train from the Barkin Shale in North Dakota. After a painful couple of years in which US shale oil producers downsized and laid off workers, rising oil prices mean they're ramping up production again. The International Energy Agency says the US is about to surpass Saudi Arabia and rival Russia in oil production around the end of this year. I think of, of the 40 years I've been in the business, the impact of shale and how quickly it grew uh, is, is probably the biggest single surprise that I've seen in the market. Mark and his colleague René are two of the top oil analysts in New York. They say the number of shale oil rigs has almost doubled in two years and they're more efficient than ever. This is the strongest sustained growth in oil production that we've ever seen in any place in history. Even, even the most rapid build-up years of Saudi Arabia didn't add as much supply in as short a period of time as what we've seen from U.S. shale. Land-based shale oil producers drill around 10,000 wells a year, compared to maybe 100 in the Gulf of Mexico. The, the, the reason is because it's onshore, and there's a lot of you know, relatively shallow wells, you, so you don't drill that deep, versus when you go offshore, you drill very deep, and also you need some special facilities. It takes you about three to five years to get on production offshore. Onshore, in about three months, you get a well on production. So it's, it's that cycle time is totally different. That helps you tremendously. So this appears to be on. The US, independent of oil producing nations like Nigeria, Venezuela, and even Saudi by year's end. But what will that do for US diplomatic relations? Clearly, it's given us a lot more opportunity to swagger. <laughs> Carolyn Kassan is a professor at New York University. She says shale oil means the U.S. imports far less crude these days, down from around 80% of its needs to about 10%. She says, ask yourself, would the U.S. have ignored Venezuela as a failing state if it needed its oil, or imposed as many tough sanctions on Tehran if it still relied on imported Iranian crude? This administration is saying energy dominance, and I think the term implies that we can dominate in global affairs, that we can, uh, we have a lot more freedom and uh, leverage in terms of how we interact and uh, what our position is in the world. Because of the oil? Because of the oil. And that's a position every U.S. administration has been trying to refine for at least the past 50 years.